I'm Donna Drake, and today we are at Sabonic. That's right, right here on the course for a special presentation that you're not gonna wanna miss. Well, here we are on a beautiful, sunny-filled day. And Max, what's happening here at Sabonic? Uh, this is an incredible day. Uh, we walk here into the clubhouse, and we're unveiling uh, a commission drawing by Michael Pascucci for Valentino Dixon's artwork. And he did a, a wonderful drawing of Sabonic Golf Club here. Now, when I saw you enter, um, you walked right over to Max, gave him a big hug, oh, yeah. and tell us what Max means to you. Well, Max took a chance on me. I mean, because the Golf Digest, we all know the prestige of the Golf Digest. So when I sent the golf drawing to him while I was in prison, incarcerated for a crime and didn't commit, and wrote a letter to him, I never expected to get a response. Okay. And when Max responded and said that he was interested in my story, I mean, I shared the news with the guys inside the prison. So everybody was like, this is the biggest thing that Attica's ever seen. You know, so we just counted the days down to the day that Max came interviewed me and then published my story in 2012, July issue. And that really jump-started things because the Golf Channel got on, on board and then Georgetown eventually uh, took the case. And I was exonerated after 27 years. So in between all of that time, me and Max has become great friends. I mean, he's a brother to me. I was gonna you know? say. I, I, I've stayed at night at his house with his wife and kids. You know, so it doesn't get any more intimate than that. What was it about his letter that made you decide that you were going to take the time to respond? I mean, it was just a fascinating day to walk into my office and see a white envelope postmarked from Attica Correctional Facility. I said, what is this? And I opened it up, and there's this incredible letter and perfect penmanship and this nice drawing with the most wild story saying, hey, I see your column, golf saved my life. It's saving my life because... I'm staying sane by drawing golf courses, and I've never played golf in my life, and I'm, by the way, I'm wrongfully convicted of a murder that I've been here for two decades. That and I thought, the, wait, that was the by the way part, right? The by the way. <laughs> and I thought, they have Golf Digest in Attica Correctional Facility, and it was just so intriguing on so many levels. I didn't know what to believe, but uh, I wanted to kind of pull the thread on it and find out more. Well, it's such an exciting uh, time, your journey. Everybody has a journey, everybody has a story, and the fact that we're all here at this exact moment is just amazing to me. You know, I love, I love life. Life sometimes surprises us in such a glorious way. I went to your website, I saw like the butterfly and then the golf glove and some of your early work. You did Oprah Winfrey. You've done so many portraits also. So yeah. how did it kind of start? And then what was the segue to do, uh, I was gonna say the 19th hole, but <laughs> that's, a, that's after we play 18. Well, let me take it back a little bit, uh, Donna. You just said that everybody has a journey, okay? And I would like to say everybody's going to be tested. Everybody in life is going to be tested. And my test was 27 years of wrongful imprisonment. Someone else's test may be a death in the family or a health issue, okay? And this is why I identify with Max's Golf Saved My Life so well, you know, because I started reading the stories. At first, I didn't read any of the articles in the Golf Digest. I just, I just looked at the pictures and was like, all right, I'll draw that golf course because it's a pretty course. This one is dusty. I'm not going to draw it, you know. And just being out here on a Sabonic is just like heaven on earth. I mean, I've never seen anything so beautiful. And I've been in Augusta. I mean, this is just like, and I've drawn the ocean. Well, actually, this is not the ocean part. I just learned that today. The Atlantic Ocean is over here. Okay, and this is, what, what is this over here? Conic Bay. Okay. And it's just like, it doesn't get any better than this. You know, and just walking through the facility. But going back to Attica, I never golfed before. I grew up in inner city, you know, and in inner city, we have football, we have basketball. 
you know, and, I, you know, in impoverished areas, economic, you know, disaster, basically. You know, so I knew anything about the world of golf, and here comes the warden and asked me to draw his favorite golf hole, okay? And this is how this thing got started. And then I started drawing more golf holes after that. Don't ask me why. I just was drawn to, a, drawn to the peace of the serenity aspect of it, you know, because growing up in the inner city, you don't have a lot of peace. You know, it's just so much stuff going on all the time, you know, and the golf took me to a place of, you know, I can relax here. I can just let myself, you know, go into a different world. And even though I was in the six by eight prison cell, my mind took me outside of that prison cell into a whole other world I knew nothing about, you know, and... So it's just an honor and a privilege to be here, and it's a dream come true. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. No. Yeah. No. And yeah. I know that Michael Pescucci, he's such a wonderful person. He's been so philanthropic um, in so many ways, and he gave me my start, right. you know, and now this is so exciting. We're going to have a fabulous unveiling. So tell us your thoughts on today, like actually standing here being present. It's uh, just a cool thing to be a part of. I mean, I look at Valentino, and... We were sitting together in a visiting room in Attica Correctional Facility, which is the most horrific place that I've ever been. And now here we are together in one of the most wonderful places I've ever been uh, here. And I think for that drawing to stand so prominently at one of America's 100 greatest golf courses, yes. for people, the golfers that are gonna come through here, the people that are gonna come through here and see that drawing and then learn about Valentino's story, it's just connecting worlds that you never think would be connected. And uh, just so happy to see Valentino off and running and uh, looking forward to seeing his work of so many other courses as well. Me too, let's put our hands together for just a second. You know, all things are possible and we're here today and I cannot wait to see your drawing. Congratulations to you. you, congratulations to you. What a beautiful story, stay tuned. We're gonna be unveiling soon. Woohoo! All right. <laughs> So I'm watching television and I see a show, Bryant Gumbel, who is a nice young man who I know, and he's got a show called Real Sports. And I see this segment on Valentino and I, w I was so intrigued that I called Bryant and he gave me the story and I said, he's really talented. I said, to have a, something like that at your club that was drawn you know, um, by someone who's this good, I said, I gotta see how you get that. So I called Valentino, I said, where are you? He says, I'm in Buffalo, it's in the winter. So I said, well, you probably have nothing to do. When you was right. <laughs> so I said, look, Valentino, let me send you some photos of our golf course and give me your ideas, what you think you might want to do, which hole with this and that. Right. So I looked at him, he called me back, he said, look, I'll take a little poetic license if you want, right. and this is what I'm thinking of doing. And I said, okay, Len, name your price. So he, he took it easy on me. Good. <laughs> uh, and um, he uh, proceeded to spend the next three to four months doing the most fabulous. He first he said, how big do you want it? I said, something pretty big, like four, four feet by five feet, because I'd like to put it in a prominent spot in the club. So when we got it and it was done, I said, this is just too good. And once we, we, we saw it, I said, let me tell you something. You're, this is a very talented individual, very, very talented. If you have a golf course and you don't have a Valentino Dixon drawing in your golf course, you've got something missing. Every golf course should commission this young man because what he portrays is just so unique. You can't duplicate it with anything. It's not a painting. It's not a photo. It's a Valentino. It is. It's a Valentino, and it, it captures the essence of the course. Are you excited about unveiling it here? I'm beyond excited, okay? When Mr. Pruskowski reached out to me, it was like a dream come true because I've worked on golf courses for about eight years, drawing and drawing and drawing, and you just wait for someone to, in the art world to take a chance on you. And a golf or a golf uh, course owner to reach out especially in the Hamptons, like, you know, Hamptons is a whole nother world, 
So here he is reaching out to me and calling me personally. I mean, you know, it was just special, put it that way. And not only uh, what he's doing for me is this. It's a different type of acknowledgement. Okay, most people see my drawings and they think they're paintings. Mm -hmm. Almost every reporter says the painting, 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 painting. Okay, I take so much pride in spending over 100 hours on one piece. You know, if I was to paint that course, it might take me 10 hours. But I spent over 100 hours drawing it. You know, in the intricate detail, you just cannot, you know, skip it. You know, you can't, there's no quick way to do it. You know, I have to layer so many colors on top of each other to get that pink look. So when you look at it, you're going to say, hold on, this is a, either a photograph or it's a painting, but it's actually a hand drawing. And I take so much pride in being able to produce uh, something the world has never seen. And what he's doing for me is just like, well, it's, wow. it's, a, it's a, you know, it's everything. It's, I see this as a good match. I no, really do. I, I think the match, too, is Max Adler from Golf Digest. Yeah. <laughs> because he, he recognized, yeah. Max yeah. recognized yeah. Valentino's talent way before I did. Yeah. And uh, he's been very instrumental in helping getting uh, Valentino known. Right. And, um, uh, you know, so Max, thanks for that. Definitely. I, I, you recognize talent. I want to ask you a question. And after that depth and richness of what you were just saying, my question was, I wanted to know which colors of green you like, because I went to art school in college. And I was like, oh, so is it well, like the greens, the blues? Let's yeah. Take a look. Let's take a look. Well, let me just say this first. Okay, yeah. okay. I, use, I, use about, I use about six different greens. Anywhere from grass green to peacock green to dark green to cherry juice. You know, I just use uh, olive green. I just, you know, you lay out all the greens and say, you know what, I want a, a little bit of everything in here. So this is what you're going to see. Excellent. A little bit of everything green. Let's go take a look. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. It's lovely. You're welcome. Michael, what are your thoughts? I could have done it in 30 hours. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. I want to be able to not just get the clubhouse, but to capture the golf course, the ocean, the skyline up there, you know, just everything all in one drawing. Okay. And it was very important that I take the photos that I had, at, you know, uh, available to me and just create the whole total atmosphere of Sabonic. Not just the 18th hole, but you know, even more than that. So, hope you guys like it.